Hi, this is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And as we talk about various WordPress themes, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between free themes and premium themes. Uh, this was something that I just kind of picked up by listening. I didn't really hear it right away. It kind of makes sense. Free is free. Uh, you don't have to pay for the theme. Um, WordPress is an open source platform, and a lot of the most everything is shared freely. Uh, a lot of programmers make themes and they make plugins and various things, and we appreciate them. And there's things that you can do to show your appreciation for them. But also, on top of that, they also have what they call premium themes. And these are ones that developers have taken some special attention and stuff to, and, and they are charging you a fee to use their theme. Uh, I have worked both with the free WordPress theme and I've worked with the premium theme and they, they both work and a couple things I want you to be aware of uh, WordPress uh, 101 for Boomers, it'll change a little bit as I get the theme set up as we go through these tutorials um, we don't really need to have the same WordPress 101 up here at the top and down here both uh, but we will change that in a little bit uh, but this is a free theme and we can get it looking really good um, some other three free themes that I have worked with. Um, this is a free theme here that we talked about before. This is for an interior designer. And this is for a media consultant. And you can tell that they can if you have a nice looking theme with one of the free ones. I did do some customized work for them with adding the graphics and like they wanted their own graph, you know. This one we just switched out the headers and things and made it to match the way she wanted it to match. I didn't have to do any custom coding or anything. I just had to use the theme and plug in, know where to plug in the different information. And this is something that any of you can learn how to do. Um, is to, if you have a, a graphic person make you a header, then you can go ahead and put that into the WordPress theme yourself. Now they also have a premium theme, which I've used. Now one of the advantages of a premium theme is if you've got a certain purpose that you want something to do, then you can find a premium theme that will do it for you. Um, after a while, as the premium themes get older, then you may have more of the free themes that kind of catch up and do similar items. But if you've got something that you want to do that the free themes aren't doing right then, then you want to search for the premium themes. Uh, one of the good things about a premium theme is that um, with a premium theme, you have technical support. If you don't know how to use the theme, if you get stuck, if something's not working, if it acts like it's broken, you've got someone you can contact that's part of the cost of the premium theme that will help you uh, figure out what's wrong and, and get it working for you. And so that's one of the advantages to having a premium theme. Um, and like I said, it just depends. So some premium themes have better support than others. Uh, there's another premium theme here that I've been using here, uh, Directory Press. And this is great if you're going to have like a um, a directory site that's showing different ones. Here's one of the examples, and someone did a really great job on this one. And this is Indian restaurants in one area, and so it's a very unique area, but it makes it really great and easy for someone. Okay, I want to go eat an Indian restaurant that's in that area. It makes it great for them to search and find the different places that they want to go. In the meantime, I imagine they make some money from advertising to the different uh, different stores as they're there. Uh, as I use this particular um, theme, this one's very involved. It takes a lot more work to, to use the directory press site. And at the same time, the tutorials and things they have in there, I mean, it's really hard to find a good directory press, I mean, a directory website for WordPress theme. Uh, there are some other directory sites out that are not on WordPress, and you may pay a thousand or more dollars to have those sites set up for you. And so this would be a more inexpensive option, uh, $79 to um, have one site that you can use. Uh, but at the same time, um, their uh, customer support, they don't have any place that you can call or email in. I mean, they have a place where you can actually write a support ticket, and you got to give them certain information so they can do something on it and then you wait to whenever they hear, you hear back from them. Uh, but I found some others easier to deal with, some of the others instructions easier to deal with, but at the same time this is a good product and it keeps getting better. If you have the premium things, you have the free ones, and I suggest for you starting off, if you're new to WordPress, uh, use a free one first. Have fun!